What's happening? This your boy Lil Pete, man. DSGB. Shout out to Dumb Eye TV. Y'all know how we rocking. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumb Eye TV. I'm your host, Gold Mouth Shorty. And I need y'all to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button before you get up out of here. And cash app your boy Mag Promo, M A G P R O M O. If you're looking for some brand new content like this, man, I need y'all to keep supporting me, man. Let's make these numbers run up. I need 15,000 subscribers after this video. But yeah, we finna talk about the pimp and the gangster from Dirty Boys. It's looking like they officially broke up, man. And the gangster life, don't go support the new Dirty Boys album because he ain't known there. There's no new music from him. It's all new songs from the pimp, you know what I'm saying? And the gangster life, uh, the pimp tried to replace him with this other artist named Twist. And you know what I'm saying? Twist end up calling the gangster and telling him what's going on, man. So all them boys end up turning their backs on the pimp, man. You know what I'm saying? They crossed the pimp out because the pimp was trying to cross the gangsta out. And they was like, man, you can't do a Dirty Boys album without the gangster, bro. And you know what I'm saying? You can go buy all the flash drives you want to and all the merchandise, man. The gangsta ain't on it. So it's not a Dirty Boys album, so stop flagging. You feel what I'm saying? And all the old producers from all the generic tapes, they like, man, I'm, I'm backing up Gangsta on this one, man. Fuck the pimp, man. That nigga washed up, man. That nigga like playing both sides and shit like that. He think he want to run some shit, but he ain't running shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't complete a Dirty Boys album without the Gangsta on there. Because, you know... Uh, they say the pimp was calling the gangster, but the gangster wasn't picking up his phone no more. And he was trying to get him in the studio to tell him to drop 10 tracks and he gonna use them, you know what I'm saying? 10 verses, but for some reason, you know, the gangster couldn't get to the studio cause he don't even stay in the same state, but he made it down there a few days later. And you know what I'm saying? He got some tracks from a legendary producer. And you know what I'm saying? The pimp got real mad about the shit. You feel what I'm saying? So it went all on Facebook. Everybody from Montgomery talking about it. You know what I'm saying? That new Dirty Boys album out. And you know what I'm saying? Everything really stemmed from that Beehive Radio. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the gangster been putting up with the bullshit forever. And some of his other cousins and shit, they know about this shit. So... Now they speaking out, so everybody, you know, picking sides and shit. But everybody on the gangster side and the gangster going solo. So if you want to listen to his new tape, man, y'all go add him on Facebook. And you know what I'm saying? He got it coming soon. But the Dirty Boys album is out, the one that the pimp put out. But everybody saying don't support the shit, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't got the gangsta on it. But I'm going to play y'all a clip of a little bit of what I'm talking about, man. Just chill. Next day. Got right up, came right back the next day. Two days on the road to get his how did he came. Now I sent him the check saying that, well, it's because since you gone, just give me your email, which you gave me his email on the 22nd, I sent him the beat. I mean, on the 27th, I sent him the beat on the 27th when he was walking out the door. I said, I sent you the beat. He got the beat. I sent it to me too. That's why you see G and you see me. I sent it to both of us to make sure it went out or went through. He came next day, he had not wrote the verse, and I was just saying the 12 balls, uh, let, let knock it out real quick, let keep it moving. He didn't write the verse. All right, cool, bet. That's the 27th. I don't hear nothing from him the 28th. I don't hear nothing from him the 29th. I don't hear nothing from him the 30th. Come on, man, we grown. You know we doing the Dirty Boys out. Where you at? What you doing? Hit me up. I don't hear from him on the 1st. It's May now. It's going into May. I don't hear nothing from him on the 1st. I don't hear nothing from him on the 2nd. I don't hear nothing from him on the 3rd. I don't hear from the, why, why he's not calling me. I'm in here, and what I'm doing is, I'm back and forth with Beats out, with Beats. Beats out pulling up, he dropping Beats on my computer, I'm paying him, he leaving, he bringing me some more. Uh, I'm going through the Beats that Max did, the lean Beats that I don't want, keeping Beats, changing Beats up, just in here, just, just, sticking this shit out by myself. Twist was coming up. 
Because one thing about Twin, he gonna come up and listen to some beats. If he don't do nothing else, he gonna come vibe. Hey, not even put Twist on the song. He just coming up there on the vibe. The fourth I ain't heard from G. The fifth I ain't heard from G. The sixth I ain't heard from G. The seventh. When do I supposed to hear from G? It's going on a month now. He know we doing the album. He didn't come up here to see Max. Now nah, it's going on a month now. Whatever the reason is, he couldn't come up here to the studio to do music. He came up here two days on the road to get it how did. Come on, what we talking about? What we talking about? But it is what it is. The seventh, he don't come up. The eighth, he don't come up. The ninth, I done had enough. Me, what I'm not finna do is keep calling a grown man to do grown man shit. We the dirty boys. I got to keep this legacy alive. I done told all these folks on the Beehive show that we got a new album coming and it's finna drop. Come on. I get, I get that same beat to twist. I said, man, put a verse on this beat, man, because we're going to go and move forward. I had not wrote to nothing else. That was the first song. I had not wrote to nothing else. That was the first song. When twist got the beat, he wrote to it. I wrote to it. The beat, the song was dope. I went to writing songs. I wrote, that's when you heard the songs, like the, 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 the songs I'm writing by myself or the songs you don't hear Twist on, the songs you don't hear nobody on. I started writing them. Because I knew what he was doing. You know how I knew what he was doing? Because this ain't the first time he did it. And let me let y'all in on the fun fact. We got 12 dirty albums. Do you know, besides this album right here, two of those dirty albums was already big pimp solos because G didn't want to do no music. He didn't want to do no music on a dirty album. He didn't want to do it. So I had to keep this legacy alive. The art of storytelling, yeah, the art of storytelling, G is not on that album. That's a big pimp solo. I found some songs that we had did in the past and put him on them. Marriage to the Game is a big pimp solo. That's why y'all just see me on the cover. G on probably two, three old songs that I found to put on them to keep the legacy of the Dirty Boys alive. I done kept this shit on my fucking back. I done kept this group on my fucking back, making sure we keep our fans with the vision that the Dirty Boys is doing what they supposed to do as a group and keeping the legacy alive. Not skipping the beat. Y'all ain't even know that. You know why y'all ain't know that? Because I ain't put that shit out there. She ain't doing music. She ain't, she ain't on this album. No, I would never come to Facebook, man, to tell y'all niggas shit. To give y'all ammunition to fuck with us. If anybody ever asked me about, man, what's he at? Or, 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 or anything. Oh, man, shit. He got down probably at the house. He's in his head. He down that way doing it this way. I'm down this way. Come on, man. It ain't their business. It ain't nobody business. Man, I would have never in a million years came on Facebook and made a post like that, cuz. That, that aggression you showed in the post and letting people know, come on, bro. You could have came to me and talked to me. Check this out, cuz. I know I ain't get on the album because I was bullshitting and I ain't get on it, but shit, do what we can do. Drop the album, come back, and goddamn, I'm gonna let them know. Shit, we finna do two dirty bars solo. That shit would have been dope as fuck. But the way you did it, you made it seem like the way you gave it to the world, you forced me to respond.